Welcome to I Am Plainsboro. My name is Anthony Cancro, Township Administrator for the Township of Plainsboro. Today I'm joined here with Neil Blitz, our Director of Public Works. And actually, we're on site in Plainsboro Park. Today's topic is our new cricket field. But Neil, before we talk about our cricket field, tell us a little bit about Plainsboro's wonderful parks. There are four main parks located in Plainsboro Township. Plainsboro Park, which we're sitting in right now, located <laughs> off of Edgemere Avenue. Morris-Davison Park, located off of Plainsboro Road, Community Park, located off of Woodland Drive, and Shawks Meadow Park, located off of Parker Road in the Princeton Collection. Each park has its own uniqueness, each park caters to sports, and each park has a playground in it. Mm -hmm. Certain parks, such as Shawks Meadow, Community Park, Plainsboro Park, now have some form of cricket pitch in it, while all parks have either a softball or a baseball field in it. Also, these parks have playgrounds in it where kids can go in and enjoy themselves while parents are able to supervise them in a safe environment. Now, are all these parks maintained by your department? Yes. In Plains Road Township, the Department of Public Works maintains all the parks and all the open space. We are responsible for everything, for the, from the ball fields to the playgrounds to the trees. Everything goes through my department. Let's talk cricket. The idea and the planning of this cricket field, how did it come about? Several years ago, Plains Road Township started receiving requests for cricket fields. Now at that time, we have two modified pitches. One located in Shawks Meadow Park and the other one located in Community Park. But there was a request for a regulation size field. So with the consent of the mayor and the township committer, committee, the former township administrator asked myself and the director of planning and zoning, Les Fargo, to go out and research this idea of installing a cricket field, a regulation sized cricket field within Plainsboro. Mm -hmm. After much research, we came and decided that this would be the most viable location for a cricket field. Several years later, in 2016, we have a cricket field. Wonderful. And what makes our cricket field a little bit special and unique other than it being in, in Plainsboro? Two things. One, it's a re regulation sized cricket field. And two, the complete field is irrigated. Mm -hmm. The entire cricket field is irrigated. I'm not saying it's the only one in the state, but there are not many regulation sized, fully irrigated cricket fields within New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to assume that your department will be maintaining this field and the cricket pitch. Yes, just like as we, we take care of everything else in the parks, the cricket field is going to be my responsibility. A project like this costs money. It's a capital project. Normally the town would have to pay for the whole cost, but I think this time we are fortunate to get some assistance from the county. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the cost and how the county helped defer some of the costs of this project? Yes, this, this project was funded through the 2015 capital improvement program and we did receive a $72,000 grant from Middlesex County Board of Chosen Freeholders for this park. And just tell us a little bit about some of the work that went into this. I know there's an irrigation system, there's power that wasn't here before, a couple other items that a little bit about the pitch and how that's made. Originally this is just, this was an open area all right this was the outfield of the ball field which is located over there. There was no power, there was no irrigation. So we actually had to have power run from Edgemere Avenue and we also had to have the irrigation run from Edgemere Avenue also into this park. Mm -hmm. Then we had to have the, the, the whole irrigation system installed. We had to have a shed uh, installed to house the irrigation controls so it could be locked up so, can't, so it won't be vandalized. Mm -hmm. The pitch itself was uh, designed for this area. As, a, as I previously said, it's regulation size. The pitch itself is a concrete slab. Mm. That is an artificial turf 
on the concrete slab. Hopefully, if people adhere to the regulations of this cricket pitch, such as not slapping the bat on it or not wearing spikes, we can get approximately two years out of that artificial turf. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, most likely we're going to have to replace that artificial turf every two years. When we were here for the dedication, the mayor and the committee and the freeholders came to see the event. Give me an idea when the cricket field will actually open next year. The cricket field will not be open until 2017. We are looking for the first games played on it in 2017. Also realize that this field is by per, uses by permit only, meaning that to, to utilize this cricket pitch, you have to go and get a permit for its use. And tell me how that's going to work. Is your department going to handle the permit process to get scheduled for a game, or is that going to be done by another department? No, we're not responsible. The Department of Public Works is not responsible for scheduling games on it. That is going to be handled through the Recreation Department uh, over at the Township Municipal Building. Thank you very much, Neil, for your time today to talk about our new cricket field in Plainsboro Plaza. Thank you for joining us on I Am Plainsboro. I'm joined today by our uh, full township committee, by uh, Deputy Mayor Neil Lewis, by uh, Ed Yates, uh, David Bander, and Nuran Nabi, and welcoming all the guests that are here today. So we really appreciate you coming. This is an important, this is a really important event for Plainsboro. Also, we're joined by our staff, Les Varga, Director of Planning, who's here today, uh, Neil Blitz, our Parks, uh, uh, parks oh, excuse me, our Recreation uh, Public, Public Works, works, works Public yeah. Works Superintendent, I'll be all right. And Lenny Salura, our Recreation Director, and Anthony Kanker, our Administrator. Uh, and also, I would be remiss if I didn't mention Teresa Carson, who's here today, and she's the official photographer. So <laughs> you've got a lot of responsibility on your shoulders, <laughs> Teresa. Uh, this is an important event. Plainsboro is a community that celebrates a couple of things and, and is proud of a couple of things. One is the, the great diversity that exists in Plainsboro Township. We've been celebrating that diversity for years, and we're very proud of it. And in addition to that, we're also very proud of the recreational program and facilities that we provide in Plainsboro. So this really brings both of those together. It brings together a recognition of the changing nature of the community and the changing recreational needs of the community. So a few, uh, I guess a year or so ago, we went to the county and asked for their support in uh, developing a new cricket field here in Plainsboro Township. And they were very, very cooperative and supportive of that. They came forth with funding uh, for about, uh, I guess, about 40 or 50 percent of the cost of the, uh, the field that we have here today. So we really want to express our appreciation to the county for that effort. I also want to recognize some of the guests that are here today. Uh, I believe we have both. Uh, is Ken Armwood here? I don't think no, I haven't seen Ken. Ken. Ken's not here today, but we have Charlie Kenny from the Freeholder Board. We have Freeholder Freeholder Charlie Tamaro uh, from the Freeholder Board. We have uh, we have Rick Lear, the Director of Middlesex County Office in Parks and Recreation. Uh, I don't see are there, are there people here from the consulting firm, the Viano Construction Cricket Field? Are they here today? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Welcome, Tom. In addition, we have representatives from Naik Consulting Group, the project engineer. Are they here today? We appreciate all the support that you provided in this project as well. So with that, uh, I just want to talk a little briefly about the field that we have here today. Uh, this field is a, a project that approaches about $200,000 investment, of which, as I said before, the county was very supportive in, in providing support for it. I think what, what this represents is a great example of cooperation between two, two forms of government, our, our local form, our local committee here today, and the freeholder board in providing support for needed facilities uh, in a community. So we appreciate that, and that cooperation has been of long standing with the county and continues today. They're also involved in the renovation of the historic Wyckoff House here in Plainsboro Township. So we appreciate their continued support. It's very important to us, and I think it does represent the best of government. I'm afraid to say it will not be open immediately. We're going to wait till spring because we have, uh, Neil tells me, we have grass that's very tender coming up, and we don't want to compromise that grass. So in the spring, we'll be able to kick it off and uh, uh, I already, I, I've been lobbied already today for another field, so. <laughs> so, so you may see us knocking on the door at the county again for some support. But we recognize the changing nature of the demands of recreation in Plainsboro Township. 
So I, I just want to, again, express my appreciation to the county, express my appreciation to all the folks that came out today uh, for their support. Uh, our staff uh, has been instrumental. Every one of the people that I mentioned has had some role in providing for this. Who's going to be doing the scheduling next year on the field? There he is. He's, he's leaving. <laughs> He'll be the guy that has to cut the baby in half as far as scheduling. So, again, I want to thank you. I thank you all for coming out and particularly appreciate the county's support in this effort. With that, I want to introduce Charlie Tamara, Middlesex County Freeholder, to say a few words. Charlie, are you here? He's right behind you. There he is, right behind you. Okay, Charlie. <laughs> Drop yep. your ball. I'll, I'll grab a hold of it and roll off the table there. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome from the uh, county of uh, Middlesex County Board of Chosen Freeholders to this great day of this ribbon cutting for this new and uh, awesome cricket co uh, court, uh, field. You know, in the county we have many cricket fields and I think that we build more cricket fields in the last few years than we build any other fields. Um, We'll give you an opportunity to bring another one. In yeah, <laughs> I'm sure you will. Uh, but you got to see our see our see Rick Lear on that. Uh, as chair of the county's infrastructure management committee, that includes parks and recreation, I am aware of the growing and changing population in our county. As our communities begin to become more diverse, so must our recreation opportunities we provide to our residents. When the township approached the county about this project, we were excited to see the innovative and forward thinking for this new field. The revitalization of existing facilities to accommodate this new, new use in a strategy that provides this new facility while, ser while, serving, while saving money for the residents. This is a combination that the county was very happy to partner on. I want to thank Mayor P Peter Cantu and the entire Township Committee for their leadership on this project and the continuing sex success to the residents. I see an old friend out here, Anthony Cancro. Well, I had, I had the opportunity to work two years. You got a great man there for your BA, and uh, he's done a great. He did a great job in Edison. I'm sure he'll do a great job for you here in he's Plainsboro. Doing a great job so thank, you. thank you. Thank you. I'm now going to introduce Ave Ave Kanja. Is he? MJ, is that, did I pronounce it correctly? Yes. I didn't do too badly, is that right? Let's say a few words on behalf of the Cricket Association. Thank you. Thank you. And this is, uh, this is the ball we are going to play here. This oh, like, is a soft like ball. This, this is a little hard better ball. than this yeah. one. <laughs> Old people can't deal with these balls. This <laughs> okay. My, my name is Avinash. Uh, I represent the cricketing community uh, here uh, at this function. I sincerely want to thank uh, Middlesex County. Plainsboro Township, Mayor Peter, Deputy Mayor Neil, uh, for for really uh, making the dream come true in the sense that we were struggling to get a good facility, and cricket is a sport, is a religion uh, in subcontinent. It's not really a sport; it's a religion, and we really <laughs> put hard work in it, and we we really thank. All of you for providing us uh, with this wonderful facility, and as I said, we are going to come back again for more. Uh, but we'll take care of this facility as one of our own, and you will not hear any complaints about misuse or anything. We'll take care of it along with uh, the staff here, with Lenny, and That's and cool. again, the cricketing community wholeheartedly thank you guys, and uh, we want to grow this sport. In Plainsboro. That's great. Uh, one more thing. This league uh, I represent is a New Jersey softball cricket league, which has 120 teams. This was started in this very ground in 2003. And today, it, today we have more than 8,000 players. We do 60 games every weekend, and we do around 2,000 games in the span of six months. So this really started here. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Very good. Thank you. I guess the next event is to cut the ribbon and celebrate this. Yes. So if we get the folks up be behind the ribbon, I guess I'm going to cut from this side. Is that the intention? Cut from this side so you're on the camera. Doing good here? Balance and scissors. I don't know about this.